So when I picked her, when I picked her, I said, Lord, I'm picking her. You know what he said? Good choice. He said, but the choice is yours. He said, because if you mess this up, don't come running me talking about God, you gave it to me. I'm trying to help somebody. But let me, let me close with this right here. Romans 8 and 18. Y'all thought I forgot, didn't you? Pull Romans 8 and 18 up for me real quick. Then we're going to get up. So last scripture. Then I'm going to pray for you because some of y'all believe that you've done something wrong. God can tell you, baby, it's just God's going to get some glory out of your life. Yeah, yeah, and guess what? You know how God gets glory? When, oh God, God, help When everybody sees you in the condition you're in right now, and when God gets to working in your life, everybody gonna know that it was God that did that for you. Everybody look at your body, everybody look at your life, everybody look at your relationship, everybody look at your finances, and they see how it's not where it needs to be, and when God gets through putting that thing back together, when God gets through bringing a relationship to your life, everybody's going to turn around and say, that was nobody but God, and then and guess who's going to get the glory? Him. And guess what else is going to happen? You're going to get more solid and grounded in God's word, and you're not going to let life just push you over. And the next calamity that comes in your life, baby, I wish I could tell you you're not going to have tough times, but listen, he wouldn't have told us when you go through the flood, I will be with you. He wouldn't have told us that if there would be no floods in your life. He wouldn't have told us when you go through the fire if there would be no fires in your life. He wouldn't have said that. But the next time calamity comes, you stay on God's word and you have it with it, and it's not going to blow you over. You start rehearsing your victories, how God has done it for me before, and God is going to do it for me again. And in Romans 8 and 18, Paul said, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us glory to come. To be compared with the glory that I have in my life. He also says, this life of you, baby, what you're going through, I know it may seem devastating, but in the light of God's purpose, it's a light. He said, I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the weightiness with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Now that we get to heaven. Now. Stand with you. Glory to God. I reckon. Mm -hmm. It's an old country word. I reckon. Hey, what we going to do? We're going to do this thing.